let's see what it takes here to get a TNT transmitter up and running. You uh, see this plate meter back here, and the reason I'm being careful is there's high voltage. This, this transmitter is live right now, so you have to be real aware of where the voltages are and not, not put your fingers anywhere. That plate meter back there is measuring plate current to these two tubes. And with a TNT transmitter, as you get on frequency, you should see the, see the plate current come down. And what you hear in the background there is my, uh, is, what you hear in the background is my ICOM 735. I have tuned on frequency. And, and you hear the transmitter tone there. And, and the plate current you see is dipped down to about, oh, it's dipped down about 33 mils or so, so that's fine. Uh, and uh, let's see now here. So we got plate current adjusted. Coupling, you see the coupling coils here are way off to the side. So you're not coupling anything into the antenna right now. So the next step will be to swing the coupling coils into place so that uh, we get power output to the antenna. So first thing I have to do is cut the cut the voltage to the transmitter. The other thing I do for safety is to go ahead and put the screwdriver into the middle of the B plus circuit. Just so that this is a this is a safety precaution to make sure I don't accidentally get things out of sequence and uh, grab a hold of something when it flies. So I swing the coupling coils into place here. And if I get them too close, then the transmitter uh, doesn't sound very good. At this point, though, from past experience, that's about right for a nice sounding signal. So I take out my uh, my screwdriver out of the B-plus circuit. I turn the power back on. And we will now... Wait for the B plus to come back up here. And you're supposed to back off on the loading a little bit. Let's just check the signal out here. So that's a nice sounding TNT signal. We are, according to the ICOM 735, we are on 3568 kilohertz. So we're in band on frequency, the transmitter is set up and ready to go. Okay, the transmitter is set up now, we need to get the receiver on frequency here. Um, one of the things about a regenerative sig receiver is it's radiating a signal when, when you are um, listening. So what we're going to do is, with my ICOM 735 right now, is set on a transmitter frequency. We want to get the receiver on a transmitter frequency, so we have to listen for that regeneration signal from the receiver in the ICOM 735. So let's turn the volume up here and carefully tune. Alright, there is the SW3 on frequency now. So now the receiver is set, the transmitter is set, we are um, yeah, and then now the other thing here is take a real close look at this dial here. You see, this dial here is is a reading 120 on on on, on the on SW3 dial. Previously, I have made up a uh, conversion chart here to show that uh, 120 when I calibrated this thing was was. Uh, approximately 3575 123 was 3550 so if you imagine 25 kilohertz is this region from 120 to 123 band spread is nothing like a modern transceiver but it's good enough okay back on frequency here we are ready to to uh, try a Q so here that's in the transmit. Yep. The other thing I have here is a current meter that's indicating that I'm getting some current into the antenna system. So we're ready to try to have a contact on my T 
TNT transmitter with the SW3 receiver.